There is something dangerous in the water, and you can't even see it. That sounds like the beginning of a horror movie, right? As you can probably guess, we will be talking about shellfish toxins and shellfish poisoning today. But first, let's go a little bit into the background. Here, we will define shellfish as bivalve mollusks, aquatic animals with a two-part hinge shell that contains a soft-bodied invertebrate. Most bivalve mollusks are filter feeders, and they consume the little phytoplankton and zooplankton that float in the water. Because of their somewhat passive nature, they also end up consuming organisms that can produce life-threatening toxins. Not for the shellfish itself, but for the animals that consume the shellfish. Many shellfish can accumulate toxins as waste or even as a defense mechanism for up to two years. These toxins can be found in both marine and freshwater environments as they are naturally produced by certain species of marine dinoflagellates and freshwater cyanobacteria. Wild shellfish that grow during these harmful algae blooms accumulate the toxins. With increasing seafood demand, there is an increased risk of shellfish poisoning after consuming contaminated bivalves, crabs, or even fish. There are four main types of shellfish toxins that could cause issues in humans after consumption. Paralytic, neurotoxic, diarrheic, and amnesiac shellfish toxins. Let's go through them one by one. Paralytic shellfish toxins, such as saxitoxin and tetrodotoxin, are neurotoxins that cause paralytic shellfish poisoning, or PSP, by blocking the sodium channels in nerve cell membranes. Symptoms of PSP range from lightheadedness, headache, and diarrhea, all the way to flaccid paralysis, respiratory failure, and even death. They are also heat stable, meaning that they will still be in the shellfish even after cooking of any kind. It is considered the most common, yet the most deadly of the four toxins. Death from paralytic shellfish poisoning can occur in less than 30 minutes. Next is neurotoxic shellfish toxin. It is caused by consuming shellfish contaminated with bravitoxins, primarily produced by dinoflagellates. It is considered relatively uncommon compared to other types of shellfish toxins. NSP can have many neurological and gastrointestinal effects on humans. Numbness of lips, mouth, face, and numbness and tingling of the extremities. These have been described as nerves being on fire or ants crawling and biting all over. Ataxia, overall loss of coordination, paralysis, reversal of hot and cold sensation, slurred speech, and overall fatigue are all commonly reported. Patients have been described as appearing disorientated and possibly intoxicated. Thirdly, we will talk about diarrheic shellfish toxins. As the name suggests, it causes gastrointestinal problems including nausea, severe diarrhea, and dehydration. It is generally confused with normal food poisoning, hence it is not very well known. The toxin that causes DSP is okadaic acid. This causes the cells to be very permeable to water, causing the patient to show the above symptoms. DSP is not currently known to cause fatalities though. Lastly, there is amnesiac shellfish toxin. This toxin group can cause severe and life-threatening neurological effects. Symptoms include muscle weakness, disorientation, seizures, coma, and short-term memory loss. The main cause is domoic acid produced by diatoms. It directly affects the hippocampus, which is involved with memory function in the brain. More specifically, it creates an increase of calcium, causing neurons to degenerate. ASTs, like PSTs, are heat resistant and very stable and cannot be cooked or freezed away. Currently, there is no antidote for all four types of shellfish poisoning and the two most common shellfish toxins, paralytic and amnesiac, are also the most deadly as they have caused deaths around the world. The best way to prevent shellfish poisoning 
is to limit consumption of untested shellfish, as well as to not eat local shellfish if there are harmful algae blooms. There is always something dangerous in the water, but we can prevent it.